Hey everyone, today we will be discussing about blood transfusion. So blood is a connective tissue in fluid form and it is considered the fluid of life as it carries oxygen from lungs to all parts of the body and carbon dioxide from all parts of the body to the lungs. Blood transfusion is the transfer of blood or blood components from one person that is called as donor into the bloodstream of another person who is called recipient. Talking about the functions of blood, it can be divided into three main categories, transportation, regulation and, and protection. The blood has a function in respiration, nutrient carrier from GIT, transportation of hormones from endocrine glands and transportation of metabolic waste. It also regulates the pH, adjusts and maintains the body temperature and maintains water content of the cell. The white blood cell component of the blood protects against disease by phagocytosis and blood acts as a reservoir for substances like water, electrolytes etc. and it performs hemostasis. The composition of the blood can be divided into two sections, the cellular part which constitutes around 45% and the plasma part which constitutes around 55%. The cellular part contains erythrocytes, leukocytes and thrombocytes. The plasma contains water and solids. Among solids, there is inorganic and organic substances both. The inorganic substances constitute 1% and the organic substances constitute around 8%. So in 1818, James Blundell performed the first successful documented human transfusion in a woman suffering from postpartum hemorrhage who received the blood from her husband and she survived. Later in 1901, Karl Landsteiner discovered the ABO system. So now we will talk about the ABO system. The ABO system consists of three allergic genes A, B and O which control synthesis of enzymes that add carbohydrate residues to cell surface glycoproteins. A and B genes are specific residues while O gene is an amorph and does not transform the glycoprotein. The system allows for six possible genotypes, although there are only four phenotypes of it. The naturally occurring antibodies are found in the system of those lacking the corresponding antigen. The blood group O is the universal donor type as it contains no antigens to provoke a reaction. And conversely, group AB individuals are, in are universal recipients and can receive any ABO blood type because they have no circulating antibodies. The next blood type is RH blood type and the difference between the ABO system and the RA system is that in the ABO system, the plasma agglutinins responsible for causing transfusion reaction develop spontaneously whereas in the RA system, the spontaneous agglutinins almost never occur. The person must first be massively exposed to an RH antigen either by transfusion of blood containing the RH antigen before enough agglutinins are there to cause a significant transfusion reaction to develop. There are six common types of RH antigens, each of which is called as an RH factor. These types are designated as CDE in capital and CDE in lowercase alphabets. A person who has capital C antigen does not have the lowercase c antigen. But the person missing the C antigen will always have the C antigen. The same is true for D and E antigens. The type D antigen is widely prevalent in the population and considerably more antigenic than other RH antigens. So anyone who has this type of antigen is said to be RH positive. Whereas a person who does not have type D antigen is said to be RH negative. The other significant blood groups that have been discovered are such as MNS blood groups antigen which was discovered in 1920 by Karl Landsteiner and it is common to find antibodies to M blood group in the plasma of patient as these are sometimes formed after infection and testing is required to ensure the patient is anti-M antibodies and testing is required to ensure the patient's anti-M antibodies do not destroy donated red blood cell. Another blood group is Duffy blood group which is associated by infection of malaria. When this protein is absent from the red blood cell, the cells are resistant to infection by the malaria parasite. This protein is absent from the blood cells of 90% of sub-Saharan Africans, conferring malaria resistance on these populations. 
Antibodies to Duffy antigen are commonly found in patients' plasma and are a cause of transfusion reaction. In case carefully matched antigen negative blood is not given. Then there is K antigen which was first detected in 1940s as a result of a woman without the K antigen on her red blood cells being pregnant with a baby with K antigen on the red blood cells. Then there is Bombay blood group which is a rare blood type and this blood phenotype was first discovered in Mumbai in India by Dr. Y. M. Bende in 1952. It is mostly found in South Asia and parts of Middle East such as Iran. Cross-matching is done to determine the compatibility between a donor and recipient blood and it is also done in situations where organ transplantation has to be done. The cross-matching falls into two categories. The, the major cross-matching, here the recipient serum is tested against donor-packed cells to determine if the recipient has preformed antibodies against any antigen on the donor's cell. This is a required cross-match prior to release of unit of packed cell from the blood bank. Then there is minor cross match. Here the recipient's red cells are tested against donor serum to detect donor antibodies directed against a patient's antigen. There is, this is no longer required. It is assumed that the small amount of donor serum and antibodies left in a unit of packed cell will be diluted in the recipient. The indication of blood transfusion includes external bleeding, internal bleeding which could be non-traumatic or traumatic. The lysis of red blood cells, example in cases of malaria and HIV, in patients who are anemic, bleeding disorders, in cases of burns and, and in cases where there is anticipated need for blood. The interval between two donations should be at least of 12 weeks and at least 48 hours must elapse after plasmapheresis or cytopheresis before whole blood is collected from the donor. Apheresis should be done only after 90 days of whole blood collection or in an event when red cells are not returned at the end of the apheresis. The complication of blood transfusion includes immunological complications and non-immunological complication. It could be divided into acute and delayed complication and infectious and non-infectious complication. The types of transfusion reaction could be acute and delayed. In acute, uh, the acute reactions may be allergic, febrile, hemolytic, anaphylactic, bacterial contamination, circulatory overload and transfusion related acute lung injury and delayed reactions could be alloimmunization, hemolytic, transmissible diseases, graft versus host disease, iron overload or post transfusion purpura. So for now this will be it. In next video we will discuss about the history taking for the selection of the donor for blood transfusion and different components of blood that can be used for transfusion in different countries.